They wait under the blazing sun, eating and drinking nothing. This time the eagle sees them. The sentry sounds the alarm to the others. Cooperation and solidarity save the meerkat's lives. The group's most important duty is protecting and raising the young. Every day a meerkat stays by the nest and watches over the young. Just like sentry duty, they take it in turns every day to look after the young. Meerkats do not hesitate to sacrifice their own lives for the young in the group at moments of danger. Here is an example. Meerkats have left the nest to look for food on a hot summer day, and danger is waiting for them on their return. A jackal is lying in ambush near the nest where the babies are. One of the meerkats approaches the nest to save the young. Its aim is to stop the jackal entering the nest. As night falls, the meerkat is still using itself as a shield at the entrance to the nest. As day breaks, traces of a fierce fight in the hours of darkness can be seen. The jackal has been chased away from the nest, and the young have been saved. However, the brave young meerkat has sacrificed itself and is badly injured. Its mother comes to the wounded meerkat's side. Its condition is critical. The meerkats need to move off if they are to find food. The injured meerkat is having great difficulty walking, however. When its strength finally gives out, it lies down in a ditch. The other meerkats do not leave their wounded friend alone. In a demonstration of farewell and loyalty, they stay by its side until it breathes its last. All this surprising cooperation, solidarity and devotion among meerkats is behavior inspired in them by God. The banks of the River Nile. These waters and banks are very dangerous. Many dangers have to be faced in order to raise young here.
the species of bird you are watching has to build its nest on banks that are full of crocodiles. It moves very slowly and tries to avoid attracting the crocodile's attention. It particularly chooses areas where female crocodiles have left their eggs to build its nest. That is because female crocodiles are very calm and docile during egg-laying time and do not represent a danger to the birds. In time, the birds' eggs begin to hatch and tiny chicks emerge. Yet these chicks are in danger. As you can see, both the mother and father bird fiercely use their own bodies to shield their young and defy the dangerous lizard. The lizard might kill the bird, but the bird is ready to die in order to save its chicks. The lizard gives up in the face of the bird's determination and courage. Things change when a hungry and aggressive male crocodile approaches the nest. The chicks freeze. The mother bird puts on a different display this time. She opens her wings and beats them on the ground. She does not directly oppose the aggressor. On the contrary, she imitates an injured bird and invites the aggressor to attack her. She thus attracts the danger away from the nest. The deception works. The crocodile follows the supposedly injured bird and moves away from the nest. Its attention is then drawn by a lizard and it moves away entirely. Thanks to the feeling of self-sacrifice inspired in them by God, the mother and father birds risk their lives to protect their young. In buffalo herds, newborn calves are looked after not just by their parents, but by the whole herd. And they face all kinds of risks to defend them, even lions. When lions approach, the entire herd sounds the alarm. As you can see, they form a defense ring around the calves. They use their own bodies as shields to protect the calves from the lions. There are only two calves in this herd. Yet, not just their parents, but the whole herd risk their lives to protect them. These buffaloes could just think of running away and saving themselves. In that way, the lions would go for the calves who are left behind rather than the sharp-horned adults. In such a case, as claimed by Darwin's theory of evolution, the weak would be weeded out and eliminated while the selfish strong survived. But that is not what happens. The buffaloes do not abandon the helpless calves. Thanks to the feelings of self-sacrifice instilled in them by God, they protect the calves even at the cost of their own lives. Buffalo herds protect not just the young, but also the elderly. The images you are about to see were taken by a tourist on safari in Kenya.
A group of lions ambush an elderly buffalo that has moved away from the herd. It looks like death will be the inevitable result. But a miraculous event takes place. The elderly buffalo's cries for help reach the distant herd. They at once head for the scene. Then courageous buffaloes approach the lions in a threatening manner in order to rescue their companion. And the lions flee. <laughs> 